A special thank you to our great sponsors. Jack Burford Chevrolet, State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble, Luxury Pets, Express Roofing, we've got you covered, Faith Created, Assembly of God Church, ScenicCabin.com, Equipment, Sales and Rentals, give Sean a call, Tatum Enterprises, Richmond Tourism, WKYT.com, Time Warner Cable, Madison County Schools, First Gear, Pro Signs, Berea Online, and Rosenbaum Communications. Hey everyone, my name's Alex, and I want you to watch Madison County School Sports.com. Hello everyone, I'm Madison County School Superintendent Elmer Thomas, and I want to thank you for watching Madison County School Sports Television. Follow Madison County School Sports Television on Twitter. Or like us on Facebook, MCS TV. And of course, watch all of our videos on YouTube. football fans welcome to Madison Central High School for a preseason football scrimmage between your hometown Madison Central Indians and the Pulaski County Maroons Chad Tate along with Mr. Donald Foster Don and uh, football season is upon us seems like it never get here <laughs> here it is yep well like I said folks we're just it's a preseason scrimmage we have some very uh, minimal rosters don't have hardly any information on Pulaski County we'll do the best we can just to get a chance to look at this new Madison Central team and the new administration bringing them in Mr. Mark Centers his first year coming from McGarry County yep pretty good success over there and former Indian coach yep and hopefully he can he can bring bring his success here. Looking forward to it. A lot of young kids still for Central, facing a good Pulaski I County team. They, Pulaski's uh, number two in 5A. Okay, they uh, big Madison Southern rival. So I think it'll be a good test for both teams because Pulaski County Pulaski's beat Southern be tough. twice. We're set for kickoff. Madison Central will be receiving the kick. Back number deep. 24, Derek Burgett is kicking for Pulaski. Back for Central. John Williams. John back Williams. Deep, maybe? And it's going to hit good the touchback. kick. Touchback, so Central will start on the 20. Got some licks going on early. <laughs> they get a little, I'd say both these teams are definitely tired of uh, hitting on each other. It's so. a long time. You hit yourself for so long, you want to <laughs> hit someone else. Ready to get going. So Central will come out. Their new offense for the year. From what I understand, Mr. Zachary Harden will be under center. He will have a couple running backs behind him. We're going to be Blake Gross is going to be in there. And as well, Mr. John Williams, he had a strong season as a sophomore last year. Very surprising so last be, year with him. He was, man. He kind of came out of nowhere and made some runs and catches, and he's going to be wide, starting out wide left for us. He and Blake Gross in the backfield. Number 35, we'll have to – that's going to be Corian Cryer. He's behind him. Presnell went in motion, but we've already got a penalty, so somebody moved on the interior. And Presnell is our second quarterback, but he runs. He was in there this play to run some, some stunts with them. So, first offensive uh, play is a penalty. So it's not the back, way to start the season. <laughs> that'll back center up a little bit. Presnell brings in another play. Anxious to see what the Indians can do this time. Again, Zach Harden under center. Central is going to be young. Got they were Williams. young last year. Williams wide left and two wide right. Looking to pass. A little screen, overthrown. Trying to hit his tight end, number 15. 
Again, we got to work on these rosters. They may, hopefully they'll be right, and I can find number 15. I don't see a 15. I do not see a 15. We'll try to listen and see if somebody gets him to us. Again, we apologize for that, folks. Working off rosters from the KHSAA <laughs> website, not the best thing. I got my man Tony Rose up here to get me some new numbers, but we didn't get him. All right, second down in 15. And be thrown for a nowhere. loss. Little, little handoff there in the backfield, and he's dropped for a big loss. For a young central team, they're going to have their hands full yep. with this Plasky team. Yep. Plasky County's got a lot of experience. A lot of they experience are. coming back from some successful They clubs. went to the state championship game last yep. year. Lost to Bowling yep. Green. Yep. So third and long now at third and 20. Third and real long. Trevor being a receiver, he comes in. Going to air it out. Like man up. Yep. Defense. Harden drops back. Yeah, they're playing it. Going across the middle and for about a five yard gain, but they still going to come up about fourth down and 15. So, punting team will come on for the Indians and we'll get a chance to see them for the first time and then see what the defense is holding. Uh, I, from what little experience and knowledge I know of Mr. Centers, he's a pretty big defensive coach, so I he think is. that's I where he's so. going to put a lot of his bread and butter this year. I believe Ryan Jones, former Indian quarterback, when I was coaching here, I believe he calls the offensive plays now. Okay, okay. So. Back to kick. We got number 13, Will Nash. Pretty good punt. That's gonna going to peter it away. Yeah. Get a good central bounce. Nice row. It's going to go all the way to about the 32. That's where Pulaski County will start over. Start their drive. We're going to take a quick break. Madison County School Sports Television, and we'll be right back. A special thank you to our great sponsors. Jack Burford Chevrolet, State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble, Luxury Pets, Express Roofing, we've got you covered. Faith Created, Assembly of God Church, ScenicCabin.com, Equipment, Sales and Rentals, Give Sean a Call, Tatum Enterprises, Richmond Tourism, WKYT.com, Time Warner Cable, Madison County Schools, First Gear, Pro Signs, Berea Online, and Rosenbaum Communications. Hi, I'm Samantha Barker with Madison County School Sports Television. We want you to watch the Coach Mark Center Show. We look forward to seeing you on Madison County School Sports Television. Okay, that's it. All right, guys, Madison County School Sports Television. We're back here at Madison Central. Madison Central's first offensive series didn't do much, but now the defense on the field with uh, quarterback Riley Hall under in the shotgun for they Scott County. They run a County. lot of option. Out wide. Got some running room, and he gets about four on that. Host of Indians on the tackle. All right, Pulaski County starts out with a first throw out to the also, flat. Also, they, they like to go quick. As we see right there. And, yes, that is Riley Hall in the shotgun. Don Riley. remembered him from last Riley year. Riley Hall is a stud. So slip screen. Throw another little slip screen over to the left side. And a first down. He battles, gets about, keeps on his feet. So, quick first down. About five yards on the first throw and about seven on that one. So, again, they're running the pro-style offense. They're going to keep it going. So, Central better be ready. I see Blake Gross at it one of the corners. Trying to look at our numbers again. Kind of hard to keep up with these young men. Three receivers. In the shotgun again. He's got one in the backfield with him. Looking to throw down the middle. Wide open. Oh, through behind him. Tended receiver was there, but the throw for Hall was behind him. So Central, good first defensive stop there. You know, this is a good test for the Indians, though. Get to see it up-tempo offense. Yep. I think his receiver, Derek Burgett, was he was looking for. So we're playing way off the receivers. All staying in the shotgun. Hand off. Hand off a little up the middle. 
So we can find his number. That's number 22, Caleb Cox with the draw. He gets about three on the carry. Last season they had two or three that could handle the ball, and Hall can run. So big play here, third down and about six for the Maroons at the 49-yard line. Big play for the Indian defense. Dropping back, Hall dropping back, looking, looking on the sideline. Side nice pass. First down. Did he get it? Yep. Like you said, Indians playing kind of off the receivers and kind of giving a cushion, and yep. I can tell. You can just tell Raleigh Hall's presence in the, in the backfield. He's been around. And he picked them apart right there. They lost one game last season. Presnell back at the safety position, trying to keep the long ball. Keeper. He's looking nope. again. Going That's deep. That's a mistake. There, oh, he just took that away from they Presnell. Gave him the catch. Nice play. I thought he was going to turn and go long, but uh, receiver just out, out, uh, out muscled Presnell on that one. I thought maybe the Indian defender would have a chance at that one. I thought he did too. I thought like he threw said, it up the, for grabs. The offensive player just got in there and got better position, kind of like going up for a rebound, and he outboarded him. 8.58 left opening quarter. Pulaski driving pretty easily right now. Shotgun again. Got a, got a whistle. Got some movement. So on Pulaski, so that'll move it back a little bit, make it first down and 15, or is it a five or a 10? It's five. a five. Like I said, we got Cameron Presnell in the, in the defensive backfield. Blake Gross, number 20. I'm trying to find him on our roster. That's Keenan Miller. That was a jersey switch we had earlier. Okay. First and 15 for the Maroons, 8.56 left. He's looking over the middle, looking to the end zone, wide open, and a there touchdown. Nice pass, nice catch. The receiver that time, number two, Jake Johnson. A beautiful throw, and he was wide open. So, uh, quick six on the board for the Maroons. That, uh, that's just experience, you know. That I mean, we, we've got a – this is a new crop, a lot of young kids for the Indians, and so Sanders has got his – Work cut out of for him, but he's a good hard worker, and so he'll get get something going. Yeah, he took over Garrett County team, end up leading them to the playoffs every year, but his first, I believe. Derek Burgett for the extra point, and it's good. So seven to nothing. Eight forty nine left in this first quarter. We're going to take a break. Madison County School Sports Television. A special thank you to our great sponsors. Jack Burford Chevrolet, State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble, Luxury Pets, Express Roofing, we've got you covered, Faith Created, Assembly of God Church, ScenicCabin.com, Equipment, Sales and Rentals, give Sean a call, Tatum Enterprises, Richmond Tourism, WKYT.com, Time Warner Cable, Madison County Schools, First Gear, Pro Signs, Berea Online, and Rosenbaum Communications. All right, folks, we're back. Plasky and Keegan off for the second time. Jonathan Ty and Mr. Uh, Miller, Miller Keenan Miller in the back, ready to receive. And another nice long kick. kick. That's going to go in the end zone again. This Burgett does a good job. Boy, he kicks it and no chance at all for Jonathan Ty to get a run back on that one. Well, Central got punched in the mouth in that first series. <laughs> if they weren't woke up yet, they are now. So, uh, second attempt for the Indians to come out here, try and get something going. Again, uh, looks like we got Corian Cryer in the backfield. Coming in, John Williams, number nine, going to be a receiver. Number 14, Nathan Coots is in there. Of course, just a scrimmage. No score really doesn't matter. But yeah. you want to see your Indians get a little better, though, on the offensive end. It matters at some point, I tell you. Those guys will know that on the blue and white. They're going to – those coaches will let them know it matters. All right, Presnell's bringing in the play. I don't know if he's – he's going under center. So, we'll – they're going to rotate series. So, 
Cameron, Cameron Presnell. Yep. Corian Cryer in the backfield. Our number 15 we have no name for. Cryer gets the handoff, and he's hit immediately and brought down. Probably about a two-yard loss. So Pulaski County defense is having their way right now on that interior. John Williams coming out. Corian Cryer coming out. Got a new crew in there in the offensive backfield. Burberry is wide left. Say number eight. Ryan Burberry, I believe, yep. Motion. Blake Gross trying to get open. Pitch. Kick out, number 32. Got to hold the block. Got a couple. Oh, good play. Nice tackle that time. Number 32 on the carry for the Indians. That is. I'm looking for him. I don't see a 32 don't either. don't see a 32 either. They must have another one. We'll try to listen if they say who they are, and we'll get it down. All right. 739 left. Madison Central behind seven to nothing. Third down. Third down and what? About 10, ten again. Presnell under center. So the offense but makes some moves. Looking. Across the middle, nice catch, nice pass, number 15. He got about seven, but not enough for the first down. But, hey, we'll take the little completion and and, and use that as a positive thing. Offense gonna, stays on the field. Yep. Or does it? No, here we go. They're going to punt. I was thinking, you know, if you leave the offense after this early and you don't get <laughs> it, you just gave him a short field. Yeah. Number 13 back, Will Nash will be punting for the Indians. Quarterback on the roster. Oh, so. bad snap. Good hands by Nash. He saved that one. Got away a pretty good kick. Fair catch. Fair catch at the 20. Take it about the 18. It's where Pulaski County will start again. And 28. we'll take a quick break. Oh, I'm sorry, the 28. Yes, sir. And we'll take a quick break. Madison County School Sports Television will be back. A special thank you to our great sponsors. Jack Burford Chevrolet, State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble, Luxury Pets, Express Roofing, we've got you covered, Faith Created, Assembly of God Church, ScenicCabin.com, Equipment, Sales and Rentals, Give Sean a Call, Tatum Enterprises, Richmond Tourism, WKYT.com, Time Warner Cable, Madison County Schools, First Gear, Pro Signs, Berea Online, and Rosenbaum Communications. Hey everyone, my name's Alex, and I want you to watch MadisonCountySchoolSports.com. Hello everyone, I'm Madison County School Superintendent Elmer Thomas. And I want to thank you for watching Madison County School Sports Television. Follow Madison County School Sports Television on Twitter. Or like us on Facebook, MCS TV. And of course, watch all of our videos on YouTube. All right, guys, we're back. 638, first quarter. Madison Central behind 7 to nothing, And Pulaski County takes over on their own 28. Got some movement. Somebody went across. What we got? Line mood, I believe. Offensive line. It'll be an offensive, hopefully. And again, Pulaski County drove uh, relatively easy that first series. So we'll see if the central defense can. Offsides. Oh, defensive offsides, though. So they called it on the Indians interior. Coming in defensively, number 52 for, for the Indians. I had him on there. I mean, Savion, I believe. Where do you sit? I don't. I had him earlier. Now I can't find him. Hand off. Up the middle. He's still on his feet and gets a first down. Number 22. Is that read option. That's Caleb Cox again. You see a lot of teams run that read option now. College and NFL both. Well, they do it pretty good so far. It's tough to defend that option. Savion Floyd, there he is. I knew I had 52 on there. And again, quick quick with the offense. 
Riley the Hall in the backfield by himself. A little short screen to the right. And he gets about six. The pass was complete to number 33. Is that Jalen Conwell, I believe? That is. So second down and about six. Is it Savion Floyd up front? So to run the three-man front. A lot of backer, linebackers and for the receivers, but uh, screen, a little screen. Oh, and he dropped it. So good coverage that time for the Indians. See, long time Mass Central coach Velmar Miller pumping yep. up the defense. Mm -hmm. Number 32, Jabari Hughley was on the coverage there. Also on that front front defensive line for the Indians, number 47, Brandon Northern. It's a third and seven. Big stop here. Central needs to get them off the field. Riley Hall back, looking deep, across the middle, wide open. Oh, wide open. Number two, that's been one of his favorite receivers, number two, Jake Johnson. I'm not a big fan laying off the outside receiver so much. Don't give especially, him that much of a cushion. I would think, especially third and long, you know they're going to throw it. Yeah. I'd say get up and bump around him a little bit or something. Oh, a little screen out to the left. You can move. That was Cox again on the reception. He gets about four. Right now, of course, young team, new system, new coaches, defensively, their, their heads are kind of spinning right now because a very experienced, good team is uh, looking right at out them. Out the field. There he is. 61 as Jeffrey Robinson hustling off. Hall changes to play. Cox, one, one running back in the backfield with him from the shotgun. And it's a handoff to him to live. He's got a little room, makes a move. Going to get the first down. So first down inside the 30. They're in central territory at about the 28, 29. And threatening again. 4.52 left here in this first quarter. Again, this preseason scrimmage, Madison Central versus Pulaski County. Pulaski, a veteran ball club. A lot of returning starters. And, and boy, they, they run this speed up offense just like a machine buddy like you said central on our new coaching staff new everything new coaches all the way around oh wide, wide open. open oh he made a nice move who was that that was number 18 was the receiver on that so another first down inside the 20 to about the 16 no we're on about the 11 excuse yeah, me they moved it way down it's a first and ten. And then get a first down inside the one. Yep. One from the shotgun again. Hand off to Cox. Goes to the left side. He picks up about four. Don, this is uh, you know this is another one of those deals where the coaches are going to have to <laughs> really find some confidence to put on them. You know, get mm -hmm. something positive out of this. It's what it's you're a, looking for. You want to see some positive. And this is a tough scrimmage opponent. Screen to the right. Nice coverage play. that time. Cryer 35. that time. Number 15 on the reception. Sean Ham, but Corian Cryer right That's there. Very to good stop play. Him. It's didn't third and five a, now. Didn't get but one or two. Get a minor victory here yep. if you can hold him to field goal. Be a big victory. Central trying to get defensively set. Riley Hall in the backfield. He's got Caleb Cox back there with him again. Walks up all the line. shotgun. That's all they run so far. I believe that's all they run. He drops back to pass. Draw. A little quarterback draw. Nice. Oh, they read that and well. Nice job. 32. 32 on that one. That was Mr. Jabari Hughley that's in a there. Nice job. As Brings well as up. number 47, Brandon Northern, got in the backfield. So there you go. There's a little bit of positive you can take from that. That's what you want to see, you know, get back here, bend, don't break. Big loss, so it's fourth down and about nine for the first down, and they're going to go for the field goal. Number 24, Derek Burgett, a junior. He's on for the three-point three, three point attempt. Get up. Got nope. it down, kicks right. up. 
Yeah, no. Did block. he get it? Field goals. Yep, went in. So they got three, but it's better than six on the board, Don. Right. So a little That's bit a of a victory for the Indians. We'll come back. Madison Central will take over offensively after the kickoff and try their third chance at some at the offensive side of things. Madison County School Sports Television, and we'll be back. A special thank you to our great sponsors. Jack Burford Chevrolet, State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble, Luxury Pets, Express Roofing, we've got you covered, Faith Created, Assembly of God Church, ScenicCabin.com, Equipment, Sales and Rentals, give Sean a call, Tatum Enterprises, Richmond Tourism, WKYT.com, Time Warner Cable, Madison County Schools, First Gear, Pro Signs, Berea Online, and Rosenbaum Communications. Hi, I'm Samantha Barker with Madison County School Sports Television. We want you to watch the Coach Mark Center Show. We look forward to seeing you on Madison County School Sports Television. All right, folks, we're back. Madison Century getting ready to receive the kickoff. Jonathan Ty, Keenan Miller are deep. And, again, they just – Madison Central defense held tight, gave up three points, but uh, that was a good job. They had uh, Plasky County knocking on the door again, and they held them. So Love we'll to see the special teams give them a big return here. Yep. But with the way this kicker is kicking, everything's hitting Man, the end zone. Man, they haven't even had a shot, times. have they? Now, we remind our fans, uh, next week, August 23rd, Madison Central, the Roy Kidd Bowl here at Madison Central. They play Murray. There is another game prior to that. Harlan that, County, yep, Bryan Station. Is that who it is? All right, Plast County with the kick. It's deep again. And we might get a return on this one. At Ty the one. takes it at the one. Out to the ten. Stand he up. He's on the sideline. Got some room. Nice. Nice, row. nice job. Jonathan Ty delivered nice. him a lick there. And there's a good run back. That takes it out to about the 29. That might spark him up. Might do it. Who got coming out of quarterback this time, Don? I see – 14? He's talking. Who's he talking to over on the side? He's getting ready to come. I'd say I guess they're going to rotate him. That'll be yeah. probably hard, and it's his turn if that's the way they're doing it. 17. Nope, that's Presnell. going to be Presnell again. He's going to go another one. I don't think Harden got hurt that first round. I don't believe so. But, again, that's what we're doing. This is what this preseason is for is to see what he's got out of his kids. And Presnell, a junior. Yep. Played a lot last year. Mm-hmm. He's going to go under center. Corian Cryer in the backfield with him. Two receivers to his left, one far right. Motion. That infamous 15 is in motion. Ball's Double. loose. Uh, Central fell on it. Did he ever have control of it out of center, that's, Don? That's I really, don't I don't know. It looked like he didn't. Because the Pulaski County defender was on him immediately. This offensive line for Central is going to have their work cut out of him as we see. They've got to keep those guys out of the backfield. Number 23 in the backfield coming in for Central. Looking for his number as well. Our production staff going to have to work next week, get us some better uh, some rosters, rosters and Some water. And Snacks yeah. or something, yeah. All right, Presnell. He's under center again. One back in the backfield. Two wide left, one wide right. 140 ticking on the clock. Fake the pitch. Presnell steps up looking. He's got some time. Oh, no, too hard. a little too hard, yeah. Good presence in the pocket to step up. Yep. Put a little he too did much that. on it. Then he just put too much on it. Our man 15 was open, but uh, couldn't handle it. Jonathan Ty coming in. Yeah, big third and 15 now. Going to load up the receivers, I would say. See if he stays under center. They try the shotgun here. Trevor Bing, he's a receiver, is in. Presnell under center. Ty in the backfield. He's dropped back. 
He's got threw it. Overthrew it a little bit. Uh, our one receiver was open for yep. a moment, but uh, two was open and number seven, Dante Altamirano. Seven came over. That's who. That's who number seven is. He's got a jersey change. Altamirano is number seven. So had a, had a couple couple plays. They moved a little bit, but then uh, kind of stalled out. So it's going to be fourth down. Madison Central behind 10 to 0, 122 left on the clock. And our punter, Will Nash, will be back at it. Last time the punt rolled, the snap rolled to him, so hopefully we'll get it in the air. Good hands, yeah, that there was a go. good snap. Good kick by Nash. It's going to be received Filled at it. the 35. He never called. I didn't see his hand up either, but. Uh, oh, well. On the coverage for the Indians. For 38, Connor Ridings. He was out there, first one to the ball. 118 left, opening quarter. Again, here's a chance for an opportunity to build a little confidence. Sure don't want to try and give up a score here. No. And with, with uh, Riley Hall under center, he, he can make it happen quick. wonder how long Plaskell plays starters, leave Hall in the first thing then. I mean, you kind of know what you have with them boys. Yeah. You don't want to take a chance of an injury. I guess it also depends if they have any. This I guess next week they open up, so they'll probably play a lot of minutes tonight. They probably they may do it. All back, he's looking down nice. the sideline wide, wide open. open. Oh, overthrew it. Pretty good job there. Had coverage. A better throw could have been caught. Well, he's going down that Number seam. Twenty-four, Adam Atkins. He was on the coverage. He got a good hit. Made sure. Number two, Jake Johnson did not get that reception. Of course, that throw was off. That was kind of more than the defense. Adams in the back at the safety position. A little flat out to the side. Oh, and he dropped. He was. He heard the footsteps. That pass right to number 33, Jalen Conwell. Hit him in a bad spot, Don. Hit him right in the hands. Central asking, is that behind the line of scrimmage? Evidently not. So now the rule on that, if it was, that would have been, been just a like a fumble. Okay. Yep. 35 picked it up and wanted to run with it. 104 left. Third and 10. Third and 10. Central trying to show a little life here. One in the backfield is Cox with Hall. Big throw. Looking deep. Get your hands oh. up. That's a hold. He's looking deep. Now he throws out to the flat to Cox. He's wide and open. 13. That's going to be a got first it. down. Now, that right there is experience and smarts. Yes. Riley Hall, just a junior, but, man, he stepped up. The guy got, got away from the defense. And he held and it long held enough, it. let his guy get open, yep. open, yep. throw it. Yep, he had him and had that uh, linebacker over there kind of going one way or the other, and he popped it right to him for a big gain. That's a big third down reception and first down now for Plas County at the 50. That's a backbreaker, but now you. 44 seconds left from the shotgun. Run. Right up the middle to Cox, about five. Clock still running. Right at 30 seconds, second down and five. Savion Floyd checking into the ball game, 52. He's a senior. He's a big man in there. He, he needs was. to take up some space, boy. 51 coming out. Is that Northern? No, Brandon Northern's 47. I don't see a 51, actually. <laughs> yeah, it's Deon that's, Don that's my man Dante Miller, 51. Is that Miller? My Minter, I'm yeah, sorry, yeah, Dante Minter. Minter. Dante Minter. Step Hall up. steps up. He's still looking. Ooh. Finds him wide open for the first down. Boy, he's got a nice presence in the pocket, doesn't he? Play should end the opening quarter. 35 seconds left. 3.5 actually. Hold. Oh, 3.5. I'm sorry. So I don't see that dot there. Yeah. Now, is that the clock? It'll start on a whistle. It'll okay. start on a whistle. There it is. See if they get a playoff. They're going to try to. Better hurry. Two, one, no. Not going to do it. All right. And there we go. At the end of the half, Madison Central held on, but they're down 10-0. to zero. And uh, a very impressive first half for the Pulaski County Pulaski Maroons. Pulaski County looked good. Got a nice team. That's Central defense looking better they, at the right. end. The last two series they did. And you've got a situation. I'm sorry, at the half. That's a quarter. Quarter. But uh, when you have an experienced team and a mm -hmm. you know, very inexperienced team, again, those little victories. So we're going to take a break. That's the end of the first quarter. And we'll be back. Madison County School Sports Television. A special thank you to our great sponsors. Jack Burford Chevrolet, State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble, Luxury Pets, Express Roofing, we've got you covered. Faith Created, Assembly of God Church, 
sceniccabin.com. Equipment, sales and rentals. Give Sean a call. Tatum Enterprises. Richmond Tourism. WKYT.com. Time Warner Cable. Madison County Schools. First Gear, Pro Signs, Berea Online, and Rosenbaum Communications. Hey everyone, my name's Alex, and I want you to watch Madison County School Sports.com. Hello everyone, I'm Madison County School Superintendent Elmer Thomas. And I want to thank you for watching Madison County School Sports Television. Follow Madison County School Sports Television on Twitter. Or like us on Facebook, MCS TV. And of course, watch all of our videos on YouTube. All right, football fans, we're back. Start of the second quarter. First down in 10. Pulaski County threatening again. Ball's on the 33. And typical. Riley Hall back deep with Caleb Cox in the backfield with him. Handoff. Handoff. Split right. He cuts it back to the middle. Got a few. Nice running nice run. back. Sees the hole. Hits it. Made a good cut. He was headed to the outside, but he saw that. He planted that right foot and took off down the middle and picked up five or six on that. So a pretty good Especially run. Especially eight. Actually, yeah. Yeah. So second down and two for Pulaski. Riley Hall in the backfield. Central trying to find all these receivers. Hall changes it at the line. Show blitz back out. Back out. Open over the middle. Wide open in the in. middle. Man, nice play right there. At number 80. Can take it inside the five yep. at first and four. Yep. First and goal at the four. See if the Indians can hold him again to a field goal. First and goal at the four. It's going to be a direct That's snap. That's a direct snap to Cox. And he Easy. got in there, I believe, didn't Easy. he, Don? Yep. Oh, wait a minute. One signal. Touchdown one over there. Touchdown, one signal. They didn't, haven't put it on the board no, yet. No, they haven't. I guess the one. Second one at the one. So now we got second Could be a direct inches. snap once again. Yep. Yep, straight to him. He's just going to go right. Stop me, guys. Central held him out again, I believe. No, 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 no. He went through. Yep. Just slow with the indicator. Yeah. All right. Quick another touchdown for the Maroons. That'll make it 16 to 0. 10.35 left here in the first half. I tell you, could you draw a tougher opponent for a scrimmage? Number two team in 5A. <laughs> well, and that's true. But, you know, that's something we'll talk about all year. There, These are where – you know, we can make you better if you if you yes. if you force your team to it. I've never been a fan that you can come out and play the. I'd rather play them than I had yeah. someone you're going to beat by thirty. Yeah, that's not going to help you as much as playing against teams that are tough. Extra point is good for Burgett, seventeen to zero. Madison Central going to have a chance again with the offensive side of things and see what they can do. Plastic County be coming to kick off for the fourth time, and we'll be back. Madison County School Sports Television. A special thank you to our great sponsors. Jack Burford Chevrolet, State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble, Luxury Pets, Express Roofing, we've got you covered. Faith Created, Assembly of God Church, ScenicCabin.com, Equipment, Sales and Rentals, give Sean a call, Tatum Enterprises, Richmond Tourism, WKYT.com, Time Warner Cable, Madison County Schools, First Gear, Pro Signs, Berea Online, and Rosenbaum Communications. All right, football fans, we're back. Madison Central High School, 10 35 left in this second quarter, first half of the first preseason scrimmage for the new regime at Madison Central. It's not been the best of. Uh, 
showing so far, but not the best start. You we can hope we for. know we got a new program, new kids, new coaches, and young kids. You know, I'm looking through here. with oh, some, yeah. some seniors on there, but uh, at the skill positions, we got a lot of young kids. So, Plas County kicks off again. Central's only had a chance at one return. We'll nope. get a shot on this one. No, you can't bring it out. Oh, okay. Good call, Don. There you go. They changed that rule a few Did years they? ago. That's why you get the big bucks, Don. You know the That's rules. It. There's my man, number 32. We had him a minute ago. I had him on here. Thought I did. John Ty was doing the running out a while ago, and he's not uh, not back there this time. 17, Presnell coming back out. Presnell coming back out. 32, yeah, there we go. That's Jabari Hughley. I knew he, he had a roster change, so he couldn't, couldn't return it. Judging what I've seen in the first few – Offensive possessions. I guess Cameron's going to be your starter. I mean, he's getting the so most far, routes. Yeah. Clearly, they're two different quarterbacks we've seen. You know, well, neither one of them throwed it very much. Slot man in motion. And up middle, got a few few yards there. That's number 84. John Williams back into the ball game, number nine. If that was 84, that's Tristan Moorhead. Number seven checking in, who I don't have on the roster. Yeah, that's Dante Is Altamirano. That? That's this, the change. He's Altamirano. He okay. was up there in the top. He's number seven. Got a different jersey. Number nine, John Williams, far right. And they're up tight on him. They know who he right is. Right across the middle. Threw it over his head. He was open. Throw he the ball down. He was there. Yes, sir. It was tight coverage, but he was open. Third and five now. And that, you know, that's your weapon. John Will, you got to get him the ball. He, and, and He's he your playmaker. Something happen. You yeah. got to get in the hands of playmakers. And he comes out of the ball game. Keenan Miller comes in, one of the receiver spots. Third down and about five. 949 left in this half. Miller's going to go far right. One wide left. See the difference now in Plasky's defense. They play up tight on the receiver. Leave the slot some yards between you. Press now handoff up the middle. Wasn't much there. Nothing. He's met at the line. and A host of Maroons bring him down. Cryer trying to get something, but just nothing there for him. Fourth down and five. Put team Punt on. time for the Indians, I'd say. Will Nash, he'll be back to kick again. He's getting a lot of work tonight. That usually you'd rather not have that many. <laughs> no. Have your punter get so much work. He's good got kick. A pretty good kick right to him right there. Fair catch again. Pulaski County will take over at maybe, the uh, – Maybe in um, the scrimmage, no punt returns. Because <laughs> I didn't see him signal either. Yeah. So, it may not. So, Pulaski County will take over at the 35. Is Hall coming back out? I'd say he'll play all first half. Oh, I don't know. Word up here said that he may be done for the evening. He's had a pretty good uh, good day if he is done. Uh, he's out Is there. that him? Yeah, seven. that's him, number seven. Guess he'll go another. He'll probably go the, I think he'll go the half. Nobody in the backfield with him. Screen. Wide open. Nice block on the outside by the receiver. Up the sideline, get him out of bounds. They finally did. That's number 18. That 18, what's his number on there, Don? That's 16. Yes. That's George Gregory. See, I didn't like the central defender there trying to take his shoulder and put him out. Wrap him up. Yeah. Just take two arms and throw him out bounds. I think we got to know for some of the coaches they're not doing any returns on, on the punts, yeah. I guess, for safety. Over the middle. Over the middle. Ooh, overthrew that one. Set his receiver up a little bit. He took a lick, too. Mm. Pop back up. Play was number 12, the receiver. 
Adam Atkins delivered a lick out there. When it's 17 nothing, it's, it's time to start hitting people. Yep. So second down and 10 from the 40. From Madison Central 40. Pulaski County trying to get something on the board again. 840 left in the first half. Chad, we have three officials on the far sideline over here, near sideline. There's good That's coverage nice by stop. the Indians. There you go. Nice stop. Brandon Northern. He's in there. Stop. Going back, third and ten. Dante Miller men are in there on that. Yeah, we look a little confused here in the defensive secondary. Yeah, we're all kind of confused on defensive secondary. Oh. It's a screen. Brandon Northern put pressure, but a good screen. Picked up perfectly by Hall. Man, in a big game. Boy, he picked that up. He just kept backpelling, backpelling. He knew somebody was going to be there. He baited him, didn't he? Brandon Northern was on him, but yep. right over the middle See of the now, game. See, now the young kids got to realize when they let you go, turn around and run the other yep. way. Yep. It's not good. Speed up offense again. First down, deep in central territory. The handoff. Handoff. Over to number 23 this time. Getting that's Whitaker. Is that Whitaker? Whitaker. Yep, 23, Jesse Whitaker. 52 coming back in the ball game for the Indians. Oh, already had him down. Seven and a half left, first half of play. Plasky threatening. In motion. Ooh. Oh, that was a slick little one. Got the handoff to him. Ha, <laughs> ha. That was a good That's time. That's a timing play, yep. George Gregory come through, and it, the, the snap almost was a direct snap to Boy, him. Boy, that's what I thought. He was going to hit it and might be a fumble. <laughs> but well, first down inside the five. Again, you've got an experienced ball club here. Yes. Pulaski County, they. Well coached. And and been with the coach a long time. So yes. that's, that's it. Central's having Thank the battle. First and goal. handoff. And in. That's Clavion, I believe. Jalen Caldwell. And another six on the board for the Maroons. And this is where the Indians don't need to hang their head, I mean. It's going to be tough not to. You're down 24 yep. nothing now. But. 7 8 left. Maroons on top, 23-0. Getting ready for the extra point. <laughs> I believe the Maroons a shorter player. That Coming in late. That, uh, Timeout. A little confusion, so on the extra point. We'll take a quick break with them, and we'll be back. Madison County School Sports Television. A special thank you to our great sponsors. Jack Burford Chevrolet, State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble, Luxury Pets, Express Roofing, we've got you covered, Faith Created, Assembly of God Church, ScenicCabin.com, Equipment, Sales and Rentals, give Sean a call, Tatum Enterprises, Richmond Tourism, WKYT.com, Time Warner Cable, Madison County Schools, First Gear, Pro Signs, Berea Online, and Rosenbaum Communications. We're back for the extra point. Kick up, kick good. And it's good. Mr. Burgett, he is perfect on the evening. And again, Madison Central down 24 to zero. They've got seven minutes and eight seconds getting ready to take the kickoff. We will go ahead and take a break while we come back for the kickoff to receive from the Indians. Madison County School Sports Television. A special thank you to our great sponsors. Jack Burford Chevrolet, State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble, Luxury Pets, Express Roofing, we've got you covered. Faith Created, Assembly of God Church, ScenicCabin.com, Equipment, Sales and Rentals, give Sean a call, Tatum Enterprises, Richmond Tourism, WKYT.com, Time Warner Cable, Madison County Schools, First Gear, Pro Signs, Berea Online, and Rosenbaum Communications. Hi, I'm Samantha Barker with Madison County School Sports Television. We want you to watch the Coach Mark Center Show. 
We look forward to seeing you on Madison County School Sports Television. All right, football fans, we're back. Madison Central on their first preseason scrimmage, kind of. It's a getting, tough one. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I mean, say the least. Tough, tough opponent, and you know they, they, they definitely didn't bring a Patsy in here. No. Pulaski County, a strong quality team. Number two and five A preseason state championship appearance last year. But you know what? Central's going to play this these That's teams right. all year long. Oh, they're Catholic, scheduled. Dunbar, Shoot. Henry Clay, Lafayette, Tate's Creek. Yep. So. All right, back for the Indians again. We have got number one, Jonathan Ty. Can't see your number over there on the far side. So let's see if we can get a return. New kicker in there for the Maroons. We're going to get a short, return so this time. It's, he's going to let it no, roll, though. Let it go. That was Keenan Miller over there, number 20. So they'll start out at the 20 yard line. <laughs> All right, Central come back. They've got another opportunity on the offensive side of things. Timeout. Timeout. To the They'll Indians. Get them gathered up to try and get them to make a push here at the end of the half. So we'll take a little break with them. Madison County School Sports Television. A special thank you to our great sponsors. Jack Burford Chevrolet, State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble, Luxury Pets, Express Roofing, we've got you covered, Faith Created, Assembly of God Church, ScenicCabin.com, Equipment, Sales and Rentals, give Sean a call, Tatum Enterprises, Richmond Tourism, WKYT.com, Time Warner Cable, Madison County Schools, First Gear, Pro Signs, Berea Online, and Rosenbaum Communications. Hey everyone, my name's Alex, and I want you to watch MadisonCountySchoolSports.com. Hello everyone, I'm Madison County School Superintendent Elmer Thomas, and I want to thank you for watching Madison County School Sports Television. Follow Madison County School Sports Television on Twitter. Or like us on Facebook, MCS TV. And of course, watch all of our videos on YouTube. All right, folks, we're back. Seven minutes here in the first half. Madison Central down big right now, 24 to nothing. And we got a new quarterback Zach in. Zach Harden the game. back in. Zach, Zach Harden. 18. Okay. Pitch. Run hard. Coach Sanders had a little powwow with the team. Brought the team to together. Did he get any on that? Got a couple? No, actually a loss. Sorry. Yeah, lost a couple on that play. And he may be holding that to the vest right now. He's not throwing the ball hardly any. You know, I don't know if that's something he wants to work on this aspect mm -hmm. of things before, you know, he unleashes that. And that's. John Williams down. One one back deep. Much like you, though. We have to find a way to get the ball to Williams into the playmaker's hands. There we go. Harden drops back, looking for somebody. Go over the middle. Nice pass. Nice, nice throw. Catch. Nice catch. There we go. Get a boy, 14. That my boy Nathan Coots on the long reception. So, there we go. We talked about showing his arm off. He showed it there. Nice throw. 23 nice checking into the ball game. Big game for the Indians. Got Burberry in at the receiver coming in. So that was good to see. I get confused. See, he lets, like, number 18 mm -hmm. gives the play, but that's not even the quarterback. So, you know, that's Zachary Harden or one of the other guys coming in. Harden at – So, maybe I'm wrong on 18. I mean, no, I messed that up. He is – I was looking yes. at how they brought somebody else in, but he's still giving it. It is Harden. Yeah. That was my fault. Under center. Handoff. Run hard. Is that Cryer? Nice game. Yes. Nope. That uh, was. Gained a couple. I believe it's 23 with the carry. Actually, it's 36. I think it was Joan okay. Williams, I believe. I get him and John Williams confused, but i got to find their numbers there. 530 left. Central driving. 
Second and about seven. Sinker wants points before the break. Oh, that'd time. be huge for him. In motion and back, number 15. Off off number the one, Jonathan Tyree. He didn't get much there, if anything. He got met at the line. Got another one of those infamous third down and longs. Donald, see what we can do. John Williams John back Williams into the back game. In. See if Hart can get him a first down here. Nathan Coots back in the game. See if he can make another big play. Superman Dante Minner up the middle can break us a hole open here. He's on center. Harden under him. Motion, motion. Got right, back. Right looking. Uh, I throw a little across slip. The middle. Snow, Not there. Still on his feet. Stay on nope. uh, just You can get away from two or three, but they Plask have about six so on him. so quick. And, and they read that. So that's a loss. So now we're going to fourth down and about 11. Too close and to punt. Yeah. Too far for field goal. Yep. Uh, he's going to keep Harden in no there. No man's land. 416 left. Fourth and about 11. Yep. Let's see if uh make something happen. This would be a big boost right here. They could get something. So you let your receivers just run and throw yep. it up. Throw it up and let John go get it. Keenan Miller in, another receiver. Let Miller go up and get it. Got Keenan Miller right, two wide left. Cryer in the background with him. Got and motion. somebody moved. This may put you down in punt situation now. Yep. That's Which in a real game you may punt, but here you may just go for it. ahead and go with it. I don't see Will Nash coming yeah. in or punter, so I guess they may try it. We're down at 16 now. Big play right here. It's a long way for the first. Need to get down to what, the 21? Harden under center. Drops back. One, Got two. some time. There Looking it is. Deep. Man's there. It's open. Oh, wow. That uh, Was it 22? 23. 23. I believe it's that close. should have been caught. I do, too. I, th I don't want to say it, but I think he might yeah. have gator armed that there. And he kind of turned his back the way he had. That's, that's a good throw. Let's, let's go, let's it go positive. There. It was a good throw. He made a good there. job on the throw. But, uh, that yeah, that pass should have been caught. That pass should have been caught. All right, well, 337 left in the half. See if the defense can stand up. See if the defense up. come up. Pulaski County takes over on downs. Pulaski County starter looks like he's still in. Yep. Riley Hall again. We talk about if this is their only preseason game, they'll probably play a lot of minutes tonight. At this point, Central knows what's coming at them. Yep. <laughs> it's going to be quick and good coverage. Oh, that's right How there. How is that not a flag? On the defense, but wow, the defender boy—he just got that took away from him. That was a nice. Is uh, that Jake? Jake Johnson on the receiving end, number three for the Indians in there. As you said, the Indians open up for real though on the twenty-third. As Hunter Hazelwood on the coverage, he's a sophomore again, young, and he's got to learn from that. That you know he got that took away from him. So, all looking deep. Yep. No. Out of bounds. I thought he had that. I thought he might have got his feet down, but we're a long way away. Out. Cody Kidd was on the coverage over there. Well, Don, we know we're going to get the, the call right. We've got at least 37 referees out here tonight. I thought I it was they, a zoo. I thought the pet <laughs> zoo was in town, the zebras. I guess they're using this for their preseason too, but everywhere you look, there's four or five crowded up. I never did like officials anyway. He's so at it. I thought many. it was a Foot Locker commercial yeah. going to be filmed after this game. There's too many I got to deal with. And, uh, and a decent still up. stop. Is that Caleb Cox or was that Whitaker? They finally brought him down, so pretty good. He got a gain of about two or three. Three minutes. Plus, can that hurry up? Especially mentally, man. Mentally, Central has got to hold them here yes. and not let them put any more points on the board. Three clumped receivers wide yep. right. That's uh, that's odd. They did it earlier. Okay. 
but Riley got Hands plenty up of time. Boy, he's getting all kinds of oh, – Got behind oh. the defense. Wow. Got a break on that one. He Somebody was behind got the behind defense. The defense. I, was, I thought they were going to get him for holding. That was Jalen Caldwell, I believe, got out there. And 2.36 left. That'll bring up fourth down and about eight. Yeah, I'd say they'll it. go ahead and go for it as yes. well. Big stop. Big stop for the Indians here. John Williams, he's back deep. Along with number seven, Dante Altamorano. See if All we can get some penetration gun. in on that Whoa. front four. Make something Five happen. receivers. Three far right, two to this side. Roll. He's rolling right, looking, looking, looking. Sends him deep. Nice. Got him. Boy. Just picking them apart, hey, Donald. You can tell this team has played together for a while under the same system. Right there. He he went, ran towards him, so the receiver kept moving away. Yep. That's, you know, you've got to keep that disc like a rope. You're so yep. far away, and then as he goes, you go. There yep. were two central defenders over there, yep. and they got right in between them. So, just, just better offense than a better defense right there. That's all you can say. I mean, last year, Madison Central was a young team, and they're still going to be young this year yep. as far as playing time is concerned. But they do have a few seniors and juniors, but playing-wise, they're still young. Man, that right there, just throw it right. Let's see, Caleb Cox was on that carry again, carried a few Indians with him and moved on down. We're second down and about six. First down will be at the five if they can get there. One minute, 55 seconds left. Same set for the Maroons. Oh. Who's he got back there with him? Hall's got Jacob Whitaker back there. with Jesse Whitaker, excuse me. Snap. He's looking. They got him. Uh, They're going to get him into grasp. Oh, is that what? Safety. Okay. Yeah, they're mm -hmm. going to give him the sack. Okay. All right, we'll take it good. That backs it back up a little bit. That'll make it third and about nine, I think. Maybe ten. Yeah. Then how far back they get it. No, that's going to take it back about 11. Third and 11. So, good deal. At the 15. 118 and ticking. Savion Floyd out of the game. So, we've got the four down front. Two receivers out wide A little left. tighter now in the receivers. All looking. Of course, he's passing right wide. And open. the tight end Man. slips the screen. Oh, he dropped it, but he's broke oh, the plane. Give it to him, he I broke think. the plane. Somebody picked Call. the ball up. They finally called it. If nothing else, the in, the Indian, or excuse yeah. me, the maroon receiver by him picked it up. So, man, nice play. Slip right down that middle. Our linebacker that time, I think that was Brandon Northern, was on the coverage, and he's, you know, a coverage guy guarding a receiver. That's tough, but mm -hmm. he didn't have any help, and the guy was wide open. I don't think there's been but twice, Don, that we've had any penetration on the quarterback. He's had very little pressure a couple times, and he's yeah. been able to pick it apart. He's had plenty of time, hadn't he? That kick is up, and I believe it's good. So we did not want any more points on the board, but it happened. So 31 to 0. 54 seconds left. That could have been a decent, uh, you know, accomplishment for the Indians. They could have held them from scoring, but it did not happen. So Central will get one more chance at the offensive side. 54 seconds left. Plasky County will get ready to kick off, and we'll be back in a minute. Madison County School Sports Television. A special thank you to our great sponsors. Jack Burford Chevrolet, State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble, Luxury Pets, Express Roofing, we've got you covered. Faith Created, Assembly of God Church, ScenicCabin.com, Equipment, Sales and Rentals, give Sean a call, Tatum Enterprises, Richmond Tourism, WKYT.com, Time Warner Cable, Madison County Schools, First Gear, Pro Signs, Berea Online, and Rosenbaum Communications. Samantha Barker with Madison County School Sports Television. We want you to watch the Coach Mark Center Show. We look forward to seeing you on Madison County School Sports Television. Our 
right, folks, we're back. 54 seconds left. Madison Central on the losing end right now, down 31 to zero against a very good, experienced machine in the Pulaski County Maroons, Don. Yes, yes, but I want to hear more about this softball game on Wednesday night. Man, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm retired. <laughs> I got drug out. My wife and I are playing a little co-ed. And she's carrying us. She's the hitter of the family. So Let's see if the Indians can get a return. We get nope. something here. Let's get, take a back. So once he goes Inside, in, he can't yeah. come once out anymore. Once the foot anymore. comes okay. out. That's yeah. Keenan Miller. So he drifted him back. So Central will have 54 seconds from the 20, from their own 20 to chuck it up. Let's hope we don't uh, get any type of turnovers to get Pulaski County an opportunity for any any more points on the board. That visitor side of the scoreboard is getting a lot of use. We need it to is. get that goose egg off there on the on ours. Looks like Zach Harden's going to finish out the half under center. Keenan Miller out to the right, as well as number two, Blake Gross. One in the backfield. I think that's Cryer. Drop back. And they're Eat on up. him, man, right there in the grass. That's what yep. they're calling. I think as soon yeah. as they get on, they're not allowing any opportunity for injuries. Not going to hurt the quarterback. And, man, right there, just that little bit of penetration that they're getting, Central can't do anything. And mm -mm. that's what – Central's interior linemen on the defensive side have got to get through, and then they've got to just got to have protection. That's they're not getting it. Second down and team, second down about fourteen. Excuse me. Clock is running at thirty seconds. May get two more plays. Depending on what happens here. Out Screen out. Right. out. Nice throws. miss. Nice move. He got a couple. They got a timeout. Probably won't stop the clock unless they use the timeout. Which I don't believe he will. I don't believe we'll get a playoff, yeah, Don. Let, let the clock in. Nope. No, they call. There it is. Centers took a timeout. Well, the clock there, it finally stopped. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back in a minute for the last play of the first half. Madison County School Sports Television. A special thank you to our great sponsors Jack Burford Chevrolet, State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble, Luxury Pets, Express Roofing. We've got you covered. Faith Created, Assembly of God Church. ScenicCabin.com Equipment, Sales and Rentals Give Sean a call Tatum Enterprises Richmond Tourism WKYT.com Time Warner Cable Madison County Schools First Gear Pro Signs Berea Online And Rosenbaum Communications Hey everyone, my name's Alex, and I want you to watch MadisonCountySchoolSports.com. Hello everyone, I'm Madison County School Superintendent Elmer Thomas, and I want to thank you for watching Madison County School Sports Television. Follow Madison County School Sports Television on Twitter or like us on Facebook, MCS TV. And of course, watch all of our videos on YouTube. We're back, four seconds left. We come back one more. for, oh, I thought he was gonna take Little the pitch knee. pitch to Cryer, <laughs> going out to the left side. Nothing. He gets one or two and that will be Nothing. it. So at the half, Madison Central. Central showed some good things on the defense a couple of times in the first quarter. Offensively, though, wow. just can't move it. Man, and Pulaski County just was very, very good all the way around. I mean, but they're a good team. They should be. So, you know, we'll see what kind of adjustments they make. We'll take a break. We'll be back in a little bit. Again, we've got several sponsors, Madison County School Sports Television this year. We want to mention those. We've got Jack Burford Chevrolet, ExpressRoofing.net, Luxury Pet Service, Jerry Goble State Farm. And we want to be back for our second half, and we'll be back. Madison County School Sports Television. A special thank you to our great sponsors, Jack Burford Chevrolet, State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble, Luxury Pets, Express Roofing, we've got you covered, Faith Created, Assembly of God Church, ScenicCabin.com, Equipment, Sales and Rentals, give Sean a call, Tatum Enterprises, Richmond Tourism, WKYT.com, Time Warner Cable, Madison County Schools, First Gear, Pro Signs, Berea Online, and Rosenbaum Communications. 
All right, football fans, we're back. Second half action getting ready to start here. Madison Central versus uh, Pulaski County Maroons. And Don, they're going to go back zero to zero. So that's <laughs> that's good. Uh, definitely a much more productive first half for the Maroons. But saw some good things out of the young Indians, and hopefully they can build on that. So Central will kick off. First time we'll see the kickoff. Yep. And it's a squibber. Squibber. Out of bounds. Who was our kicker there? Number 80? That was little McGuire. Worthy McGuire. So, see what the Indians defensively can do. I'd, see, I'd say we'll see a lot of new faces. I believe so. Uh, see what they can do here. Had a chance at halftime to look and talk to freshman coach Chris Minter. Indians have some major injuries. Yeah, they do. We, we, we didn't really address that. They got several guys out that are key contributors. Key players. Most of them will be back. We did lose uh, Will Hinton is out for, for the year. Season. That's a bad loss for him and him a senior. I hate that. All right. Is that Hall Riley back Hall, there? he's still behind center. Hit that little slip. Yep, right there, that middle boy. They're not, those receivers are not afraid to go through the middle, are they? They're not. And he puts the, the ball right there. The giving it to him. Yeah. So. Yeah. I'd, I'd say with, with, with Pulaski County opening up, they want to get a lot of reps out of him. So, he'll play quite a bit. And, of course, we're back zero to zero. So, it's not like they're running it up on no. him. Again, quick to the ball. Quick to the snap for Hall. Three receivers to his left. And off. Gives it into the end back. I think that's Whitaker. Uh -oh. And he's got an opening gone. He's got about a 15, 20-yard gain for a first down into Indians territory. He's limping a little bit at the, the end of the run, does he? Yeah. I'm sorry? He's limping a little bit at the end of the run. It's a scary sight for Blasky. Yeah, that's definitely what they wouldn't want to see. I think that was Caleb Cox. I said Whitaker. I think he's 22. Now's when my eyes get bad, Don. I can't see these numbers, which our red roster helps me out being off. So back again, Riley looking to throw, looking out to the left he's side. Oh, oh picked off. All right, nice, nice read job. that time. Blake Gross, Number two. he timed it well. Blake Gross, been in a, he's a, I think he's just a junior, but he played a lot last year, so he's got some experience, and that's what they need, you know, somebody out there to make a play, and that time Blake Gross did. He read the read the receiver. He didn't get uh, didn't get spooked on the fake and held in and got the interception. Tell you about watching, job. look at this. Not sure what the call was. A fish. Oh, personal foul on the Indians? Yes, after play. Well, they still, been after they'll the still fact. get the ball, but yep. it, I Push guess it'll back. be assessed. Wait a I minute. Looks they like, may give uh, the ball back. <laughs> Mark Sinners wants the explanation. I guess it depends. It's going to be Plasky ball. Wow, that's... I don't – and he doesn't What like happened? It. I wonder if they hit the quarterback. That, or, I don't know. Had to be rough and huh. – Let's see. Before the pass, I heard the announcer say, so he must have – and that's why. And, huh. Of course. Hmm. Again, so it's going to remain to Plasky. Yeah. And they got yardage on it, see? So the penalty they got the was 15 assessed. yards. Yeah. Wow. So first down from Not the sure – what happened. Uh, about Coach Centers is – Way out now. He's out to the to the hash. Well, we, like I said, we've got 37 officials, so hopefully but, somebody can figure that out. But here's the thing: even if I don't know, I'm just uh, I'm confused here. That's like that old basketball play, if it or you know if it's before the shot or. But again, I, I don't wonder know what if the that's rule the of football count. is. It that appears to be what. Uh, Coach Shouldn't Center it be thinks. central ball and assessed to penalty after distance? Again, if he if he hit him at the throw, how can it go? As he's throwing it, it's going to be – that's like that – again, I hate to use a basketball term because I know it, but you know, that's like that three-pointer. If I go up, you're going to get the bucket and, you know. So, that must have been the way they called it. I can't uh, – Well, Coach Minter just said, you know, if the personal foul affected the throw, then perhaps well, I hate it's going to, to say, be basketball. But if, but if Coach Minter said it, I hate to, I guess to – I guess it's right. He's He might know don't, what he's talking about. Don't question Chris. Shoot, he's a legend. He's a legend. His number All I know is retired. I got to wear him out when I coached him in freshman basketball. I bet I kicked him out of five practices. But he yeah. came right back every day ready to go at it. 
I ain't got no problem with that. I guarantee he'd be letting somebody know we've got to be, be 31 to nothing first half. All right, so Pulaski can't come back first and 10 from the 19. All back oh, pass. Got a lot of pressure. Oh, but he got In the through. grasp. Dante Minner almost had They may give him that he was in the grasp. They're he may have got a grasp. hand on him. They're trying to be safe in this scrimmage, and that's good. So that'll they'll call that a sack. So that's some first good penetration. Dante Minner got that's, in there in the backfield, caused a little problem. That's good. That's two good plays by the Indians. The interception, I'm not sure what the personal foul yeah. was, but it had to be with the quarterback. But. You know, we talk about that. This is just to get these kids acclimated oh, to you gotta the get field ropes. and game time. Get them because ropes. They're not going to come out here and show everything they got anyway. No. I mean, you got too many other Ain't teams that are watching and yeah. doing things. We've seen so. some massive Southern players in the stands. Right. Second about 15. And right. off going to the right side. He got about six, maybe eight. Just past the line, original line of scrimmage. So both teams are being very vanilla. And probably more so center. At least Pasca mm -hmm. County is an hour and a half away. Mm -hmm. They probably don't have, may not have many coming watching. Mm -hmm. But you've got, like I said, we've seen several central players here. Southern, excuse players, me, southern are here players here. And who and else? some other teams, you know, that are, you know, liable to be close by. So. So where we are, third down and seven. About the 15. Big play. See if the defense can hold tight. Could be a throw. Going to the end zone. He's wide, he's open. wide open. Wide Somehow open. Somehow right or another, they're not rotating on that or something. I don't. I don't know. He's but wide the, number two, open. Jake Johnson, wide open for the score, and a beautiful throw. Riley Hall again. So quickly, Pulaski County drives down the field and puts some points on the board. It was just too clean. Very efficient. I mean, just – but, again, it starts with a experienced quarterback yes, who knows what he's doing and know, and his receivers know what he's doing. This team went 15-0 and 0 until they ran into Bowling Green. Green a as a lost in four years. Say, yeah. All right. Extra points good. So, we got a quick seven on the board for Pulaski County as we start this third quarter. Um, Central will have their first possession coming up from the kickoff, and we'll be back. Madison County School Sports Television. A special thank you to our great sponsors. Jack Burford Chevrolet, State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble, Luxury Pets, Express Roofing, we've got you covered, Faith Created, Assembly of God Church, ScenicCabin.com, Equipment, Sales and Rentals, Give Sean a Call, Tatum Enterprises, Richmond Tourism, WKYT.com, Time Warner Cable, Madison County Schools, First Gear, Pro Signs, Berea Online, and Rosenbaum Communications. Hi, I'm Samantha Barker with Madison County School Sports Television. We want you to watch the Coach Mark Center Show. We look forward to seeing you on Madison County School Sports Television. All right, Pulaski County will kick off to the Indians. See if we can get a return action here. The squeal we'll, kick. We'll get something on that. Let's get out of bounds. Did it get out of bounds? So they'll play. So no opportunity for a return. All I want to see out of the Indians right now is I want to see them move the ball down the field. Not necessarily have to score. I just want to see them get some first downs. I got, got you. Get a little momentum going. You know, get a little momentum. I want to see them get some routine, you know, just get into a rhythm. All right, Don, who's coming out under 18. center here? It's Zachary That's Harden once again. Back to Harden. There we go. He played two or three last series, had the nice long reception, the one offensive bright spot we really had, the long reception there. So, earlier in the first half, I yep. said, judging what I said, Prisnell may be the starter. Well, Harden's played the last <laughs> couple. So, much like I'd UK say, football, we don't have a starting quarterback yet. I'd say they'll both get a lot of reps. And, you know, I don't like that. Hand you know, off down the left side. That cry. It was in there I didn't see. Oh, big news, though, Don. I found out number 15. Okay. Number 15, we've been going my boy Jared Jared Grant, and he did a, was in there a lot. He's Jared's been everywhere. Just a sophomore. He's, you know, got a lot of varsity experience, played a little bit last year as a freshman. So, if his mama listens, I'll make sure I'm out of trouble. Jared Grant's number 15. 
Pick up of about one, maybe, if that. Officially zero, but okay. maybe a half yard. Who we got in the back? Is Johan Williams? I can't tell if that's 36 or not back there. Blue Harden is. back to pass. Out to the flat. To Jerry Grant. There we Get go. Up. Nice hands Push. and runs over a couple. Nice job right there. That's what I want to see. There we go. That's a tough pass. Throw it away and keep mm -hmm. that angle out there. He got it. Grant picked up a couple yards after it. So a big first down for the Indians. Nice job. Get that momentum going here. See if we can get a score on the board. We've got four zebras down here marking the ball. Trevor Bing into the game. Easy receiver. Dante Alt Altamirano out here to the right. Too far left. One H back. back. Grant Ocean. again. Hand off. Hand off. Push, push. Decent pickup. I believe that was 36. It was. Johan Williams. Comes John Williams into the game. Well, Williams, and again, that might be one of those uh, weapons they're not showing much. But you got to think they're going to have more plays for him come season. And plus, didn't last year he ran back some punts and yes. did that? He hasn't returned. See, they're not returning punts right. tonight and really haven't had much of a kickoff return. Just an opportunity to catch it and work on that. Williams, John Williams far right. Harden under center. Got back. Looks back. He's looking for Williams. I believe he's, oh, oh. Picked off. Wow. Williams was trying to be under a defender throw. there. And he had to. Got to bring his kid down. Oh, man. Oh, he got to come down on his own. Williams tried to become a defender there and knock him down. But number 12, Dylan Hopkins just read the passing ball. Ball was underthrown. And yep, just a little bit on the throne. So good play. So attempted a decent drive, then shut down, but uh, showed I a little like bit of the, life. The going downfield, yeah. You know. And that's who again. There you talk about wanting to go to John Williams. He's he's a playmaker. They're gonna need to get the ball to him. Offense. Plasky coming onto the field. This defense here has got to step up for the Indians and make a play. This defense and has been on the field a lot. They've had to time out. Time out. We'll take talk about it. We'll take a break. Madison County School Sports Television. A special thank you to our great sponsors. Jack Burford Chevrolet, State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble, Luxury Pets, Express Roofing, we've got you covered. Faith Created, Assembly of God Church, ScenicCabin.com, Equipment, Sales and Rentals, give Sean a call, Tatum Enterprises, Richmond Tourism, WKYT.com, Time Warner Cable, Madison County Schools, First Gear, Pro Signs, Berea Online, and Rosenbaum Communications. All right, we're back. Pulaski County at it. Oh, I got a flag in the backfield after the timeout. That's the area usually they have a hold. I don't know. We get it. Let's see what we got. The indication. Holding offense. Yep. That'll take them back, make it second down and first down and 15. First and 20. First and 12, that's a 10 yard, okay. Like I said, we got so many daggone officials, I can't keep you don't know who to look at. What. And I guess that's first, that'll still be first down yes. and 20. So Pulaski County came up, scored on their opening drive. Again, some good, great throws by Riley Hall. The junior quarterback for the Maroons. You know, Central had something going. And they had something going and then just tried to go into the Briar's Nest and got it picked off. So, Central defense, like I said, been on the field a long time. Actually, first and 24, spot fail. Oh, okay. So, that's 20 yards, yards from, from the spot. Okay. 10 yards from the spot. All back. Hands off right. And going nowhere. Nowhere. Good defense by the interior lineman that time. 
Jalen Codwell got the call. Didn't get anything. Probably lost one or two. So we're at second down and 24. Looks like Raleigh Hall's nine is over. Is he out? Okay. 18 is the quarterback now. All right. Back up his end. I got that. I may have missed that the first play, but let's see who number 18 is. And he throws it up. Caught. Nice job by the defender. 18's Matt Hendricks into the ball game. He's a freshman. If that's number 18, is that what we yes, think I he is? So. He's not even listed as a quarterback. Again, they probably have number changes. That's too. true. These are all maybe even practice jerseys or whatever. But So Central, you know, quick turnaround to next week. Going to the Roy Kidd Bowl, a Murray team out of Western Kentucky. Next week. Normally known for a lot of speed and Central better be ready. Stays in the same offensive set, the shotgun. Boys, if it's that easy. Picked. Pick Could off. be. Pick All the back. way. All right. Touchdown, defensive touchdown. Can we see who got it? Not nice sure play. sure who caught it. Is that Corey is it 35? Cryer, 35. Cryer? Corey on Cryer. Nice job. Hey. I don't care if that's against the backup, the water Freshman girl, whatever. or whatever. You take that as a positive. You need momentum. Of that. Definitely that's need momentum. momentum. So, good job for the Indians. Cryer hung around there and read the pass. And... All right. They were a little confused. They got the field goal unit. They didn't know who was out there. They haven't scored. So, they... <laughs> this would be the first time He's for them. He's on the point team, boys. Yep. Time out. Nope. Nope. They're Run play. on late. You're okay. Who's kicking? Is this McGuire? It's a good question. Can't see a number. Yeah. Wait, number 17, wasn't it? 37. 37? Is that right? Yes. I think. We'll see. 87 if it was him. We don't have a 37 that I saw. 87 is McGuire. Okay. So, if it, I believe that was him. It was. Good. Worthy McGuire gets the extra point. We're at 7-7. Seven to seven. seven minutes and 15 seconds left in this third quarter. This will probably be the end for us tonight after this quarter. But, uh, again, Central getting on the board. Uh, one thing we didn't middle. mention, Donald, was during the halftime they had some freshman play. And, uh, had a had a couple nice plays for the central freshman, Jalen Powell. He ran one about thirty some yards he for did. a touchdown. So you know he's a young sophomore, not played much, according to Coach Minner was telling us. So good experience for them. I think that was the only score in, the, in that in that period. All right, so Madison Central set to kick off number forty. You know, the first half definitely didn't go the way the Indians wanted. But, again, when you play the number two team in 5A, <laughs> and you're playing a limited yeah. offense if you're, the right. Eagle, if you're the Indians. So. Number 40. There's another new one in here that I can't find. Kick is Pretty up. good kick. And it's going to be filled it. Kept it about the 10. I they heard killed whistles. It. Oh, they kill it. That's right. I don't know. There's no kickoffs. I thought they were running back kickoffs, but that's what I thought. Not on that one. All right, so pretty good kick, good coverage. So here comes the defense for the Indians. Going to have a lot of new names in there, new young men trying to make. Uh, this is their chance to, make to a, that's right, step shine up. a little bit, show the coach that you want to get out there. And this is when you got to suck it up. Yeah, the scoreboard seven to seven, but you know in the back of your mind you got thumped on pretty good that first half. You know what though? These kids haven't played yet. Some of them. So some they of them right. come so out. They got to get out here and say, "Hey, look, I'm, I'm willing to get after it." This is they're fighting now for position on the depth chart. Blake Gross is still in the way deep in the safety position. Inside handoff goes nowhere. So, good job for the interior lineman there. 44. I have Billy Thompson. Billy Thompson. But I, I was told he was hurt and wasn't going to play. That's but what maybe I was. he's trying to work out an injury. I don't have a defensive possession for him. I just have him as a tight end. But looks like he's lined up as D end, defensive end. Second down and 11. 
Plasky, whoever the quarterback, they're going to keep running the yeah, that shotgun. Nothing there. Again, good defensive coverage for the Indians. You see the way the Indians are run to the whistle. Everybody get to the ball. Yep. Thirty-two checks in. All right, what we got? Second down and 11. And a penalty on the play. Did they call it yet? It's a legal formation. Legal formation. Decline. Legal motion or something. Can't remember the one where they do that. All right, that's going to take it back. They're gonna, they declined it, so declined it's going to take so the down. 11, okay. Six minutes, 20 seconds left in this quarter. Shotgun again with one eye back with him. One receiver wide on each side. Still coming. Ooh, got it away. He unloaded. He's got pressure. What we got? got? Oh, thought he had Ooh. him. Who is that? Number one over there. Number one is no. trotting out. It's Jonathan Ty. Uh, on the on the I mean that was nope. on the pressure for the pass. I couldn't tell. Now it wasn't number one. Obviously no. that's Jonathan Ty. Ty's just checked into the ball game. So good coverage there. Almost had the pick. They're gonna punt. Central get another shot at the offense here. John Williams drops back. Just work on catching, I guess, because they're not running yeah, them back. Gonna return it. <laughs> Number five checks in. For the Indians, that's Cody Kidd. I had well, him going to be injured. That's what I was about well. to say. I don't think he's playing. Yeah, but he's in there. Number five he is, if that's him or not. But like we said, these jerseys have been tough. Yes. Plasky Time takes out. a quick one. Plasky takes one. We're going to take a break, too, so we'll be back. Madison County School Sports Television. A special thank you to our great sponsors. Jack Burford Chevrolet, State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble, Luxury Pets, Express Roofing, we've got you covered, Faith Created, Assembly of God Church, ScenicCabin.com, Equipment, Sales and Rentals, Give Sean a Call, Tatum Enterprises, Richmond Tourism, WKYT.com, Time Warner Cable, Madison County Schools, First Gear, Pro Signs, Berea Online, and Rosenbaum Communications. Hey everyone, my name's Alex, and I want you to watch Madison County School Sports.com. Hello everyone, I'm Madison County School Superintendent Elmer Thomas and I want to thank you for watching Madison County School Sports Television. Follow Madison County School Sports Television on Twitter or like us on Facebook, MCS TV, and of course watch all of our videos on YouTube. Alright folks, we're back. Plasky County getting ready to punt to the Indians. Six minutes left in this third quarter. Six minutes to go. Tied up 7-7. Seven to seven. Central showing a little more life this half. See if we can get something here. Almost oh, got the – did get a piece did, did of it. a piece it. of it or flubbed it or something. He got a piece on it. Get away from it, Indians. Let it roll. Guy, he got a break on it. It rolled pretty good all yeah. the way out to about the 44-yard line. I believe we got a piece of it, though. Is that one? All right, another shot for the Indians offense to see what we can put some points on the board and get a little momentum. Number 18 is coming in now. That's going to be Mr. It's Presnell, still, isn't it? No, no it's still hard. still hard. I'm sorry. Those numbers, I get them confused. Sorry. 18 and 17. Harden's definitely, he's taken every He's taken a lot of snaps. Every series, he took every this, series this half. This half in the last couple of the first half, I believe. So. But, again, they're both going to play. They're both young, and they're going to – Presnell's a junior. I think Harden is a – is he a junior as well? No, he's just a sophomore. sophomore. Good pass. Oh. Yeah. They blow it. Pass intended to Dante Altamirano. He couldn't hang on to it. I think he heard footsteps coming. Mm -hmm. 
Second down and 10. You know, as you watch this game, some Indians, I hope everybody understands, this is going to be a couple, three years before the Indians are back to being well, one of the te a team like they used to be. Yeah, it's going to be going to be a road to hold, but he he's going to work them hard and make something happen up the middle. There's nice my run, Cryer. Corey, no, that's Johan Williams, number thirty-six. Nice run up the middle, pickup of about fifteen. Nice hard run. Wholesale substitutions coming in and out here. We'll just have to try and keep up best we can. First down to Trevor the 39. Trevor check-in, number yep. 10. Nathan Coots far right here for the Indians. He made a big catch earlier today. Hand off again. Let's go back to the bread and butter. He's got opening. He's at the 20. He's, He's at gone. the 10. He's, He's touched down. Nice 39-yard run for Johan Williams broke loose. Nice run for him. There's some confidence. It's all about momentum That's in this right. second half. The Indians Again, are getting we'll go back it. There. We don't care if it's against their water boy or their JV, their freshman. We'll tell you they need the confidence right now. So nice run by him. He got the good run at him the first 10, 15 yards. And they give it, give it to the house again, and he took it to the house. Now in this second half, take away the interception, you know, that was a good idea. Good yep. job trying to get it, John. Only mistake really made on the offensive end. Got her kicker going for two for two. I believe that. Yes. Good. Is it good? All right. Central goes on top 14 to zero. That's at number seven. 40. We still, we didn't find him as a number, did we? I don't see him. They brought him off from the glee club. He, he's kicking. He was in the stands. At, That's hey, right. But he did play. a good job. We're going to keep him. Oh. Chad, I see some umbrellas going up. Must, must so be raining rain. a little bit. All right. Madison Central leading this half, 14-7. to seven. Getting ready to kick off Pulaski County. Another opportunity on the offensive end. I want to see the defense make a stop before the end of the, end of the night. I want to see them make a stop. All right. Let's see what the defense can do. They're going to get a shot right here. Five minutes, 23 seconds left. That's McGuire kicking off. Now, as I check here, I'm looking at the central schedule. It doesn't get easier. No, never does. With the Southern, top five team, 5A. Scott County, number one is 6A. State champs. They're going to be here on the 12th of September. Ooh. Fumble. That ball is live. And Another he covered him it. Run it. Nope. Okay, they stopped him on that. Okay. Man, he kicked that ball hard. He did. <laughs> That's when you get that up. That goes through the uprights. All right, Plasky County brings out the offense. Central going to line up on the defensive side again. I see several starters still in for Central on the defensive side. Blake Gross at the safety position, and then also some others mixed in that are not. But uh, young Hunter Hazelwood, he's out there at the cornerback. He's a sophomore, going to be a great athlete, or he is a great athlete, going to be a good player. Keep getting him some time and get him some opportunities. Cameron Presnell, he's in there at one of the corners, linebacker. Yes, he's moving up to linebacker. So let's see what, what we can do here defensively. Hand off to Javion Caldwell, and he gets maybe one, two. Getting some decent penetration in there for the off defensive line now. Second down. They say he didn't get any, so Second good. Second nine. Plasky taking her time. Not like that first half when they were <laughs> on the line and well, Peyton you, Manning speed. You had that stud running the offense. That, that changes up things a little bit. And off up the middle again. Nice stop. Hey, they got by him there. They had him. Should have had him. That was number five. He picks up a few. Number five, Tyler Harness, I believe is his name. He's a freshman as well. So, if, if this roster is correct, I've got – they've got a lot of young kids out there playing. I believe Blasky. once you get past that first team, they're going to be young. 
But their, but first, their young team is juniors, though. I mean, they're all juniors. So. That's how you make kind of, you know, quality programs, get those youngsters getting some good experience. Back to pass this time. Out Open. in the flat, he hit him. That's a first down. Pass Ball. complete. Yep. To number four. That's Jackson Morgan. He's a sophomore. So Pulaski County trying to come back and move the chains themselves a little bit. Four minutes. Four minutes left Kicking. here in the third. See if Central can get a – you know, I tell you what, I've been impressed both teams. We How many fumbles have we had tonight? Haven't Don? had a fumble yet. That's, Just that's one turnover. Impressive. Yeah. One turnover and an interception. Oh, he's still running. Nice oh. run. He's still on his feet. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Trouble. He's getting to the outside. Surely they'll get One's him. One's got the angle and brought him down. That's number five again, Tyler – Tyler Harness, nice run by him. Kind of twisted his knee in there Jonathan at the end Tyler of that run. Stop. But, uh, yeah, I was worried about stop. that. Looked when he like came down, it looked like Yeah, funny. it did look funny. Wow, that was about a 30, 34-yard run for him. And he got hit a time or two there at the, at the line of scrimmage and broke it out to the left. And Nice run. So, Pulaski kind of comes back threatening on their own. Have they been under center tonight or was no. everything out of the gun? Oh, a little draw inside. Had a direct snap a time or two, and that's been it. They're fighting Jackson to tie Mobley. this up. Jackson Mobley on the carry. Yeah, I think everything has been a, a snap like that. Everything's Nothing been under shotgun. center. They had the direct snap a time or yep. two to that. That shotgun. That, yep. So. You see a lot of teams wanting to go shotgun now. Something different, and I guess, you know, it. I'd say the kids kind of like it. Nah, it's a so. little it's more. Well, it gives your quarterback more time. Also, depends on your personnel. Scott, That's uh, it. Inside handoff. Pulaski can Wow. Right at the middle. Pulaski can has got a pretty good guy to run it. Yep. That was right. I don't know if he was hardly touched. That was number eight again. If that was flag football, Jackson he Mobley. still would have got in. Mm, yep. So, Pulaski County comes right back. Put six on the board themselves. I don't see a kicking team. They may be going for two here, Donald. Surely not. Kicker must be done for the night. Yeah, no, they're, they are. They're going for two. They want to win this half. There you go. Quarter. Hey. Whatever. Motion. Watch number 10. Direct right, right to him. Oh, over through it. There you go. All right, so Central holds. They come here with the lead. They're up 14-13, 2.39 left in this third quarter. And as the kickoff teams get ready, we will take a break. Madison County School Sports Television. A special thank you to our great sponsors. Jack Burford Chevrolet, State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble, Luxury Pets, Express Roofing, we've got you covered, Faith Created, Assembly of God Church, ScenicCabin.com, Equipment, Sales and Rentals, Give Sean a Call, Tatum Enterprises, Richmond Tourism, WKYT.com, Time Warner Cable, Madison County Schools, First Gear, Pro Signs, Berea Online, and Rosenbaum Communications. Hi, I'm Samantha Barker with Madison County School Sports Television. We want you to watch the Coach Mark Center Show. We look forward to seeing you on Madison County School Sports Television. All right, guys, we're back. 239 left in this third quarter. Pulaski County drove down, scored, but uh, did the not get the extra point. Down. So Central on top, 14 to 13. Now we might get that fumble we were looking for. There you go. We jinxed somebody. But actually, it's been pretty impressive. The premium on the ball, Squeal. they've done a good job. Fall Lay on, on that, brother. Lay on it. There you go. All right, so the squib kick. Central will take over at the 35, their own 35. <laughs> I, that is one advantage, this press box. I don't know if it's raining. And I really don't care because I ain't getting I wet. I see it in lights. Yeah. It's snow. We've had a bunch of it the like last couple news. days. It's rain, boy. It is snowing. 
Yeah, it'll help this grass grow, won't it, Chad? Actually, speaking of that, we haven't talked about it. The facilities look great. Oh, they do. Man, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous. Of course, both our high schools in Madison County, Southern's is great. I think they're finishing up a new press box and everything. Somebody said. Yes, they're getting a press box. They have a big ESPN game coming up. We're going to get rid Brandon Fritz. He's going to get us some better chairs up here. That's what I'm something. saying. All right, first and ten. Indians, we can see who's, who's under center. Didn't notice. That's still Harden. That's number 18. It's Presnell. I mean, it's Harden. That's, that's still Harden, yeah. Zach Harden. That's what I thought. Some of these young guys get some opportunities again. Trying 220, to, and I guess we'll be done after this quarter. This so. will be it. We'll be packing it up again. I think uh, they're doing a game tomorrow night, the uh, scrimmage Southern. Yes. Plays Clark County over in Berea tomorrow night. They're going to do that game, and then we'll For be real. back on the live here. Or is that a open? Is that an open? No, game? no. Tomorrow night scrimmage. Scrimmage, and then but next then week. Then it's for real next week. Next week, the Southern open up next week as well. Uh oh, long Go run. Boy. He's on. He's tucking. Oh, that's, oh, that's horse, a horse collar. collar. They might call that. They do. Yep. There it is. We've sitting there talking. That is number thirty-five, Corey Arn Cryer. Yep. He and Johan Williams are built so similar. And plus, they are. one's 35, one's 36. But they, they're both two big long runs for both these young men. Nice job right there. You Tell you what, out. watch Central as the season goes on. As them running backs get comfortable and there could be a offensive line, monster. Keep yes, going. offensive yep. line gets healthy and give your quarterback some time to throw it. Yep. That running game's got to open up that, that, that passing Central, lane for Central's sure. Central's going to go as far as the running game takes them this year, I believe. That and that defense going to really have to pick up. That's defense is going to have to play really well. I'm not, you know. So that, yeah, that penalty there, that's from the point of foul. Is yes. that one when you talk about where he yep. did it, then it adds on from yep. there. Okay. It's going to take it in. That's a long run, Donald. That was a big run. Especially add that extra 15 on there. Takes it inside the 15. About the 13, 12 or 13 yeah. is where the ball is located. First and 10. Minute 47, Central wants to put another one on Let's the board. Get on the board here. Zach Harden. So I'm saying momentum, 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 and Central's getting it right now. Yep. So hand it off. They've taken, taken Grant Grants out of that position, that H-back in there. Number 47 is running that position now, and I don't – trying to find him on my roster. And I don't see him. So, again, some of these guys that haven't got a lot of playing yeah. time, they're out of the game. Still like to see them get something on the board. Of course, then you still got John Williams is in there, wide right. I see number eight checked see we, in. That's Ryan Burberry. Ryan, yep. See if we can throw one up. Oh, there's number one. Cut. He's he down there's close. Man, Jonathan Tyra. Minute Sherman even. Jonathan Ty. Down to a minute, 59 Time out. seconds. Time out by Central, I believe. It is. All right, we, while the timeout's They're on the field, we'll it. take a break. Madison County School Sports Television. A special thank you to our great sponsors. Jack Burford Chevrolet, State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble, Luxury Pets, Express Roofing, we've got you covered. Faith Created, Assembly of God Church, ScenicCabin.com, Equipment, Sales and Rentals, give Sean a call, Tatum Enterprises, Richmond Tourism, WKYT.com, Time Warner Cable, Madison County Schools, First Gear, Pro Signs, Berea Online, and Rosenbaum Communications. All right, folks, in, getting near the end of the third quarter, 59 seconds. Madison Central trying to break through on the board again. A couple big runs by the twin running backs. Johan Williams and Corian Cryer have done a good job here. Go. Third down to about two. Cut, cut. Oh, no, you oh, went the wrong way, son. Yeah. Don't run Loss backwards. Also about six. North, south. So that's going to take it to fourth and about seven. Yeah. I don't know if they'll try to kick or go ahead and try. And I'd say they might try and just put it in. Hughley that time on the carry. Couldn't get, couldn't get to the outside, and then he – Came back and he was done. I believe they've taken a timeout. Another timeout. All right, another timeout. We'll take another timeout. Madison County School Sports Television. I've been here since 19. 19- a special thank you to our great sponsors 
Jack Burford Chevrolet, State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble, Luxury Pets, Express Roofing, we've got you covered, Faith Created, Assembly of God Church, ScenicCabin.com, Equipment, Sales and Rentals, give Sean a call, Tatum Enterprises, Richmond Tourism, WKYT.com, Time Warner Cable, Madison County Schools, First Gear, Pro Signs, Berea Online, and Rosenbaum Communications. All right, football fans, we're back. 50 seconds left. Madison Central threatening. They had a big loss there, so it's fourth down and about seven. Going to go for it here. Two fullbacks? Yep. Yeah. Looking out, hard and looking to throw. Wide open. Oh, hey, he couldn't drops get it. it. Throw was a little behind. A little behind. Yes. But I thought he had that. Who was that? That was to number one, Jonathan Ty. Probably should have caught it, but it probably also could have been a better throw. So it Pulaski, is raining. Yeah. Bad. So Pulaski County will take over. 45 seconds left. Take over at about the 10-yard uh, line. And central defense trots back out again. Well, we've seen Central. We knew they'd be young. Knew they'd be inexperienced. And playing the vanilla offense they played, you really yep. couldn't tell much. Right, right. And, again, you know, we have to keep stressing. They're playing a heck of a team. <laughs> Number two in 5A preseason. Very experienced. One loss last year to Bowling Green, championship game. Got a quarterback, got two backs with him back there now. A little different look, but still in the shotgun. He gives it to the – Left back, around the side. Ball's loose, I hear. I might have heard a fumble. I believe it did. A blue. Eddie and his habit. All right, Eddie's got it. Well, we jinxed somebody. We talked about we hadn't seen a uh, fumble all evening. Yep. And this little bit of rain came and cost Central a touchdown a minute ago on the reception. And now Plasky County coughs it up. 38 seconds to stick one in. Harden back out under center. Were they marking it at about the 11? Pretty much where Central had it when they turned it over. All right, one back in the backfield. Harden underneath center. Gonna be he's rolling right. Keeper. Oh, covers on him better. Better, yeah. Ooh. See, that's where he's got to learn. He was still holding the ball out there thinking he could make it. You've got to just tuck that bad boy. He should have took it and ran. Clock's still running. 25 seconds. I'm out. Heard a whistle. Nope. Still running at 18. Of course, it's Maybe just the third final quarter. Snap. That's just the third quarter. Yeah, they yeah, still got it, but I mean, it's done for us. But third we'd quarter like to see for them, score. Yes. Harden back. drops back. He's looking. Throwing to the right side. He's got, got somebody. He's there, in. There. There's it's our John man. John Williams. There's our man, John Williams. So, As. And he gets it at the uh, two-yard line and runs it in. So. Pretty good play there. Big confidence booster See, the for the Indians. The offense showed some life in yep. the second half. Yep. Worthy McGuire on for the extra point. See if he can stick it. Missing somebody out there. Yep. Mr. Cryer. Trotting on late. Everybody knows you've messed up when they holler at you like that and you're on You're Everybody's running that on you by yourself. <laughs> Everybody looking at you. Good snap. Kick is up. McGuire right through the middle, Perfect. I believe. So Central with a pretty impressive third quarter, putting 21 points on the board. You know, that's a big confidence boost. Big confidence. Form. Defensively, force that fumble. Cover yep. the fumble inside the red zone, inside the 10. So, not bad in the second nope. half. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. So we'll have a 3.6 seconds left. And we're going to call it a night here at Madison County School Sports Television. Again, we appreciate you all listening. We apologize for some of the roster issues, but we'll get better as well it's throughout the year. Preseason. Mention all of our, some of our sponsors, Jack Burford Chevrolet, Jerry Goble State Farm, Luxury Pet Service, and ExpressRoofing.net. Appreciate those guys, and we'll be in action again t tomorrow night down at Southern where they take on Clark County. Then a week from Saturday, Roy Kidbo. Yep. 
right here at Madison two games. Central. Two games. Would you say Bryan Station and Harlan that Bryan first game? Bryan Station, Harlan. And Bryan That's, Station is going to be pretty good yeah. this year. And we know Harlan is. So they're going to bring they're going to bring the horses down here. Harlan will hit you. Yep. Black Bears. Again, we got number 40 kicking off. We don't have him, so if his mama's listening, we apologize. We'll try to get some roster squared away for our next event. Three point six seconds. I don't think does the clock run on the kickoff, Donald? Once they touch it. I was thinking it wasn't on this, but they're not running it tonight, so we'll get the kick, and he's going to try and run it. They stop it. Thirty-three. We'll get to oh when he when he touches it. Yes, when the, they the, touch the, when the, the receiver the team receives. It. I got you. I got you. So we'll get one play out of this here. See what happens. See if we can end it on a positive note for the yes, Indians. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And once the uh, once the media leaves, it's all over, right? So who cares what happens before? That's right. That's right. Okay. If it wasn't filmed, did it really happen? That's right. That's exactly right. See Hunter Hayes Wood still over here at one of the corners. Blake Gross still in the safety. So that's good. Hazelwood getting some reps with the some of the starters, the older kids. So that's going to help him. Still in that shotgun. Just one back with him there. He did put two in there, a couple plays. Rain's coming down in sheets now. Nope. Low snap. Hand off. Got it to him. Nice play behind the line. Yep. And that ends. All right, guys, that's going to do job. it. Madison County School Sports Television. Again, we appreciate our sponsors. Appreciate you listening and your patience on our roster issues. We'll be back in action. Listen for the game tomorrow night. Donald. Foster will be on the call there, and then we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys, for Donald Foster. I'm Chad Tate. Special thank you to our great sponsors, Jack Burford Chevrolet, State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble, Luxury Pets, Express Roofing, we've got you covered, Faith Created, Assembly of God Church, ScenicCabin.com, Equipment, Sales and Rentals, give Sean a call, Tatum Enterprises, Richmond Tourism, WKYT.com, Time Warner Cable, Madison County Schools, First Gear, Pro Signs, Berea Online, and Rosenbaum Communications. Hey everyone, my name's Alex, and I want you to watch MadisonCountySchoolSports.com. Hello everyone, I'm Madison County School Superintendent Elmer Thomas. And I want to thank you for watching Madison County School Sports Television. Follow Madison County School Sports Television on Twitter. Or like us on Facebook, MCS TV. And of course, watch all of our videos on YouTube. Samantha Barker with Madison County School Sports Television. We want you to watch the Coach Mark Center Show. We look forward to seeing you on Madison County School Sports Television. Okay, that's it.